What's up guys, it's Ty here, and today I have the Week 14 NFL Recap, and uh, I know this is a little bit later than usual, uh, I was busy during the week, uh, I'm sure you guys understand, uh, you, guys are gonna be, you guys are either going to be seeing this um, Saturday, December 16th, or Sunday, December 17th, so I'm, uh, I'm not sure yet, but you'll be seeing it either today or tomorrow basically, but... Let's get on. We had uh, the new on uh, Thursday night football. We had the New Orleans Saints playing the Atlanta Falcons, and Atlanta outscored the Saints ten nothing in the fourth quarter to win twenty two seventeen. Deion Jones had a nice interception to save the game. Lady like jumped up, dove, and he like it looked like it hurt when he fell back, but you know won the game for the Falcons, making them eight and five. Uh, Drew Brees was 26 for 35, 271 yards and two touchdowns. Devontae Freeman had 91 yards and a touchdown. And Michael Thomas had 10 receptions, 117 yards and a touchdown. What a great game from him. The Bills versus Colts game. The Bills won in overtime 13-7 in the Snow Bowl, the Blizzard Bowl, whatever you want to call it. Jacoby Brissett was 11 for 22 with 69 passing yards. 69 passing yards that is not a lot obviously if you guys saw that game it was just it was a blizzard i'm telling you but shady had 32 carries for 156 yards and a touchdown calvin benjamin had 38 yards and a touchdown himself i uh, didn't think this would happen uh the chicago bears murdered the cincinnati Bengals 33 to 7 in cincy mitch trubisky was 25 for 32 for 271 yards and a touchdown uh, Jordan Howard had himself two touchdowns on the ground with 147 yards on the ground. And Kendall Wright had 10 receptions, 107 yards for Chicago as well. Just an overall great game from the Bears. Just when you think the Browns are going to get their first win, they were leading 21-7 after three. The Packers uh, scored 20 unanswered points to beat them 27-21. It's a sad time in Cleveland. They moved to 0-13. Brent Hundley was 35 for 46, 265 yards and three touchdowns. Isaiah Crow had 121 yards on the ground, and Devontae Adams had 84 yards and two touchdowns through the air. The Chiefs freaking won a game. They won 26 to 15 against the Oakland Raiders. Weird scoreline. Kareem Hunt had 25 carries, 116 yards, and a touchdown finally. His first since week three. This game was close. It was 10 to 10 after three, but the the Dallas Cowboys scored 20 points, and then they shut out the Giants in the fourth quarter. Dak Prescott actually threw for over 300 yards, and he threw more than one touchdown. It's a freaking miracle. He was 20 for 30, 332 yards, and three touchdowns. Rod Smith, who is a backup running back, he had five receptions, 113 yards, and a touchdown receiving. It's kind of a peculiar thing. You don't see that all the time. Uh, the Detroit Lions beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 24-21. Buccaneers uh, late effort was not, uh, could not topple the Lions who moved to seven and six Matt Stafford was 36 for 44 381 yards and a touchdown Eric Ebron also had 10 receptions 94 yard as well uh, Pretty good game here two teams that were uh, or Vikings were 10 and 2 and the Panthers were 8 and 4 But the Panthers ended up beating the Vikings 31 to 24 Case Keenum had two touchdowns. I believe he also had two interceptions though uh, Jonathan Stewart, though, had a really, really good day with 103 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. Adam Thielen, though, always doing what Adam Thielen does. He had six receptions, 105 yards, and a touchdown. The 49ers have won two straight behind their new quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. He was 20 for 33, 334 yards, and a touchdown. Carlos Hyde had 14 carries, 78 yards, and a touchdown. And DeAndre Hopkins, man, what a day from him. 11 receptions, 149 yards, and two touchdowns. What a game from him. The Broncos threw up a goose egg against the New York Jets. Uh, Josh McCown, he broke his hand in this game. That's very sad. He was actually playing really, really well for being his uh, journeyman self. Uh, Trevor Simeon was 19 for 31. And no real crazy stats there. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals beat the Tennessee Titans 12 to 7. 12 to 7. No crazy stats there. Phil Dawson had four field goals. That's, that's pretty cool. Good, good, good win. Good, good, good win. The Chargers, man. The Chargers. They have won four straight. They beat the five and eight Redskins. Who I 
they are so much better than five and eight. I, they've got a lot of tough breaks this year. Uh, Chargers won 30 to 13. Phil River, Philip Rivers was 18 for 31, 319 yards and two touchdowns. Tyrell Williams had four receptions, 132 yards and a touchdown through the air. In a high-powered game here, we had uh, the Philadelphia Eagles get their 11th win on the year as they beat the Los Angeles Rams in L.A. 43-35. to 35. But Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz tore his ACL and will be out for the rest of the year. That is saddening. It's sickening. I hate that. I mean, I'm not an Eagles fan, but that is just so sad. They don't deserve that. They, they really don't. I mean, I'm sorry for all our Eagles fans, but he, he had four touchdowns in that game. He ended off on a very, very high note, but the Eagles season is, inev is, in is inevitably over, I believe, unless Nick Foles can, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe he'll throw seven touchdowns in a game again. Who knows? Uh, Todd Gurley had 96 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. It's Cooper Cup, five receptions, 118 yards, and a touchdown through the air. I uh, didn't think this would happen. The uh, Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Seattle Seahawks 30-24. to A 21-point third quarter really helped that. Blake Bortles threw two touchdowns. And uh, Russell Wilson was two, uh, 271 yards and three touchdowns. Leonard Fournette eclipsed the 100-yard mark with 101 yards and a touchdown. Kate Keelan Cole had 99 yards and a touchdown in the air. The Pittsburgh Steelers moved to 11-2 on the year. They beat their rivals, the Baltimore Ravens. They won 39-38 to seal up the AFC North. Ben Roethlisberger was 44 for 66, 506 yards and two touchdowns. Alex Collins, who's on my fantasy team, had 18 carries, 120 yards and a touchdown. And Antonio Brown, who's on my opponents for the playoffs this week's fantasy team, and I'm very, very, very scared. Uh, yeah, he had 11 receptions, 213 yards. And then on Monday night, one of the biggest shocks ever, the Miami Dolphins beat the New England Patriots 27-20. Xavier and Howard had two interceptions on the Tom Brady. Uh, Jay Cutler was 25 for 38 with 263 yards and three touchdowns. And uh, Kenyon Drake had 114 yards on the ground and 79 yards through the air. So guys, that's going to be it for me. Uh, this was week five, 14 of the 2017-2018 NBA, NBA, my gosh, NFL season. If you wanted to enjoy this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube. If you haven't already, this is Tyler signing off saying, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Later.